Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd How do we know when a person is or how do we determine if someone if they're a sinner are they Muslim or not? So the belief of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah is that we do not make takfir or decree, decree someone to be a disbeliever for the major sins. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kullu ibn Adam khatta wa khayran khata'ina tawabun That all the children of Adam, they make sins. And the best of those sinners is those who repent. So the door of repentance is always open. And this is what Islam teaches us. And so it's beautiful, or this is a beautiful time for us to reflect upon that during the holy month of Ramadan. To reflect on the fact that yes, we fall into sins. Our brothers and sisters in Islam fall into sins. The leaders fall into the sins. The, 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 the general Muslims fall into sins. Everyone falls into sin. But everyone has a chance to make tawbah to Allah, to come back to Allah. Firu il Allah. Run and rush towards repentance with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah bless us to be of the tawabin wa mutatahirin, whom He loves subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Ahl Sunnah believes that Iman is comprised of three components. Of course, the heart. First and foremost, the heart. That the asal of Iman, it's in the heart. And it's also on the limbs, meaning our actions, the deeds we do by planting a tree for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that people can take shade of and that we gain air and so forth. There's adjur in that. If it's for the sake of Allah, if you purify your intention, and that's an act of Iman. That's the way you exhibit your Iman. And that's a part of Iman. As well as the shahada, taking the shahada on your tongue, or saying a good word, cheering someone up with your tongue, saying good things. This is all also a part of Iman. Commanding the good and forbid the evil. This is a part of Iman as well. Letting us know that Iman is comprised of those three components as we mentioned. The heart, the belief in the heart, the actions of the limbs, and the statements of the tongue. <clears throat> what happens if our brothers and sisters, if they have disagreement, not only disagreement, fight one another and kill one another, which we see happening all around the world. We see Muslims killing one another, fighting one another. We have to know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the believers and how we should try to rectify their situation and how we should also know that even though they're fighting and killing one another, they're still from the people of Iman. That Iman is not totally negated, even for that major sin of killing your brother and sister. Wa'iyadu billah, may Allah protect us from that evil sin. What does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says? Qala tabarak wa ta'ala fi kitabihi al kareen وَإِن طَائِفَتَانِ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ اقْتَتَلُوا فَأَصْلِحُوا بَيْنَهُمَا فَإِن بَاغَتْ إِحْدَاهُمَا عَلَى الْأُخْرَى فَقَاتِلُوا الَّتِي تُبْغِي حَتَّى تُفِيءَ إِلَى أَمْرِ اللَّهِ فَإِن فَات فَأَصْلِحُوا بَيْنَهُمَا بِالْعَدْلِ وَأَقْسِطُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُقْسِطِينَ الله سبحانه وتعالى says in سورة الحجرات he said that if two parties from amongst the believers are fighting between them, then he commands, فَأَصْلُهُ بَيْنَهُمَا Make peace between them. And if one of the parties continues to transgress, transgress over the other party, you know, continues to be the aggressor, then fight that party. 
until they submit to the command of Allah fight the party the aggressive party to get to bring them back to Allah to bring them back to their Lord to bring them back to the right path and if they cease then make peace between them with justice be just and then Allah orders us وَأَقْسِتُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُقْسِتِينَ Then uh, strive to be justice. Allah commands us with justice. Be just. Verily, Allah loves those who are just. There are immense benefits from this verse. For one, Allah, the command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be just. The Muslim is just. The believer is just. That's a, a, an attribute we should strive to attain, to be just. Unlike what we see with with many of other people in their injustice, like we see the recent verdict here in in America for the young man who was killed, Trayvon Martin was killed uh, by by an aggressor. So what it appears to be is appears to be a a, a, a situation of un- injustice that the man was let off without any punishment, as if it was to say it was self defense, and Allah knows best what it was. Allah orders the believer to be just though and it also shows us this verse that Allah loves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَقْسِتُوا إِنَّ اللَّهِ يُحِبُّ مُقْسِتِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those people who are just who are not oppressive and wicked in their sins and transgressing against others Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those people who are just Another benefit, it, 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 this eye, it shows us that we should make islah. We should try to rectify the situation between believers when they fall out, when they fall out with one another, whether it be fighting in war and killing one another, or it be a situation even between two, two individual Muslims who are, who are having dispute. Try to rectify their situation with righteousness and with justice. And the shahid of this ayat, the, the, the main point of why I mention this verse, is it shows us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still referred to these people as the people of Iman. That although these two believing parties were fighting, one transgressing against the other, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still referred to them as a believer, letting us know the seriousness of, seriousness of takfir, that we should not rush Especially when we're not ahlan for that. Especially when we don't have the right to make takfir, to decree another Muslim to be a, a, a disbeliever. When you don't have knowledge, don't speak. Keep silent. That's better. It's better for you. So this is a warning and a lesson for the takfiris and a lesson for us to not be like them. To not be like those people who rush and speak without knowledge or speak with little knowledge and rush to take others out of the fold of Islam for their major sins. That is the madhab of the khawarij. That is the minhaj, the methodology and the way and the aqidah of the khawarij, one of the first sects in Islam, who their main point of creed was that they rebelled against the Muslim authority and in the time of the khawarij they rebelled against the sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een, and they fought them and they declared takfir, they declared Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala anhu to be, a ca- to be a disbeliever and they declared uh, the other sahaba, uh, uh, Muawiyah to be, uh, uh, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, to be a disbeliever this was their minhaj but Ahl Sunnah is free from that Ahl Sunnah is just Ahl Sunnah strives to be just Ahl Sunnah strives to adhere to the principles that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has laid down and the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has laid down and when Allah refers to someone as being a person of Iman we refer to them as being of Iman and if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes takfir of someone for example Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets us know the mushrikeen are not believers that Jews and Christians in this time are not believers. They don't believe in Allah and the Messenger of Allah, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. They don't follow him. So they're not considered believers. Allah made takfir of them and said that they will be in the hellfire forever. May Allah protect us from the hellfire and may Allah guide them.
guide us and them. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So Allah makes takfir of them, so we make takfir of them. All of those things, we refer back to the Quran and the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.